This is the first day where we actually have sun inside the grass. This is really nice with like a whole summer or fall vibe, whatever. It's been so sad weather here. So someone just pointed me this out. She shout out to uh, to this comment right here on the screen for telling me yesterday that uh, we totally forgot to get the engine on top of that tender. Uh, as you can see, maybe there's a little dot right there, uh, which should be. Uh, there <laughs> and then I believe there's also probably a dot down here somewhere uh, on the wheel that Should also be aligned. So uh, we're gonna try to see if we can slowly and carefully turn The wheel probably by putting the pulley back on and the bolt back on and see if we can turn the engine So here we go guys. We're just gonna pull the pulley. Uh, I'll put the pulley back on and hopefully it's not gonna be as hard to get off again as uh, last time because uh, that was just freaking awesome, wasn't it? And I'm the only one who loves like the smell of old car, like kind of burnish rubber and uh, not rubber, uh, well, burnt rubber too, but oil and stuff like that, you know? Just feels so stupid to put this back on. <laughs> like, because it was so, so hard to get off. But, but I guess we have to do it, am I right? There we go guys, top that cylinder and uh... Oh, I believe that the little dimple on the camshaft, right, is uh, it's a little circle right there, right? That's a top, t uh, top that cylinder right now. Then I believe tick thing right there on that wheel is uh, is top that cylinder for the, for the crank. I'm just gonna see if I can focus right there. Do you see the top little tooth right there? It has like a little... Dimple or zero or whatever on it. Is that correct then? Because they are aligned perfectly. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove the carburetor because I think uh, the way I'm going to lift this engine is going to be with some kind of mounting plate on the intake manifold. Uh, I think that's going to be the way to do it. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure because you're not really able to get a chain on anything. So I'm going to try to remove the carburetor and see what we like can work with, I guess. <laughs> Would you just look at this? It's clean as hell in here. That's pretty nice. So I think we're gonna try to like do some kind of mounting plate here. Uh, get one of those to lift the engine. I think I have no idea yet. Uh, Cause I just honestly just uh, saw this. There's a hook right here uh, that you can lift on. And then I also got told that you can honestly lift the car or uh, like the engine in those two water holes right there. I'm not quite sure about that though. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to find something else if possible uh, in those holes right there. But uh, yeah, the best idea I actually got up with was uh, there's a hole through here, right? Uh, through the through here from the vacuum hose all the way down here. So I was thinking running a, a chain through here and then uh, over here to that uh, little hole right here that's actually made for lifting too so that will make that will make pretty much sense right so uh, i think that's what we're gonna do so i'm just gonna tape up this uh, intake manifold so we don't get all kinds of crap in it So that's the sound of my dad leaving and we just tried something, which is pretty cool. Uh, my dad just stopped by and uh, we started grinding all this down. Um, a little bit of the frame here, I don't know, if I think I showed you guys this last video or whatever. Look at this, it's so nice. Raw, smooth steel with no rust or anything. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we started to like, just like do a very very rough like grinding just like the top layer of, uh, of like mud and dust and whatever I don't know if you guys remember this like part of the 
with firewall, but it, it was hella filthy, okay? Now, we got all the factory black paint, and it's really nice, honestly. It, it's, it's really nice, and it's pretty amazing that we didn't grind through this, like, it, it must be pretty, pretty good paint, you know? Then there's some kind of code here, which I'm not quite sure what it says. It's upside down. It says 9L104237. Let me know if you know what that is. The aircon uh, motor, whatever, uh, was sitting here. Uh, maybe that was the code for that engine or whatever, a motor. And then look at this. This is what I thought was like the most fun part about it. You can see the original red color of the car. I know it probably looks a little bit orange right now on the camera, but it. Uh, and it's just, it's so smooth. It's its so nice. I mean, honestly, if, if you polish this up, it would look like new paint. It is really damn nice. It's its kind of fun, like, finding this on, on your old car, like, how it used to look and, like, the history of it, right? And we also grinded down, like, some of this uh, for the frame brackets and stuff like that, and all the way down here on the inside. It's just really damn nice. No rust, no nothing. I'm so hyped to, like, really grind this down and uh, get all this painted like the whole firewall and and cowl piece or whatever I don't, i'm not quite sure what you call like the whole thing up here and stuff again i think it's the cowl right c-o-w-l i don't know and uh, just like the whole firewall in general and then we also got the the brake boost off which uh, was kind of pain in the ass to get off because you couldn't really get to this bolt uh, i couldn't at least with the tools i had but uh, we finally got it out, and not that there's like anything wrong with it, but uh, it just had like what looked like <laughs> literally mud inside it. Um, I never seen that before, but it was so disgusting at the bottom. Like I tried flushing the the whole brake system one time before, but uh, apparently that wasn't enough. Like the whole bottom was just filled with like mud-ish content. Then we removed uh, the power steam gearbox itself, which was. Pretty easy, luckily, because uh, I already had this out like once when the car was assembled, so it came out pretty easy and stuff. Uh, removed a few more things on the engine today too. Carburetor, a little bit of wiring, uh, you know, just just stuff like that. Cleaned it up a little bit, and I'm getting ready to pull the engine soon. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day again. Uh, I'm not quite sure when, but uh. so thank you guys for watching this video. I don't know how long this video turned out to be. But uh, I definitely gotta go home, yeah, look at that, and get a shower and stuff, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow on the good old sad Monday. It's gonna be the first, like, sucking Monday where I gotta man up to get out here and do something and record a video. You know, it, Monday is always such a killer, but uh, thank you for watching, leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Oh yeah, it's just insane how far we already come, man. One week. And it's literally frame, engine, and wheels. There's not that much to it, actually. And brake lines and a windshield wiper motor, that's it. All, all than that, it's just an engine and frame by now. And uh, soon we're gonna pull the engine, then we're gonna start restoring the whole frame. And then when the frame is done and suspension and stuff like that, we're gonna start on the engine. And that's where the fun, fun gonna start, you know? Getting horsepower and all that stuff, but uh, yeah. See you later. Goodbye. I'm so bad at outros, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs>